Zia Jeha joins me now at the Slumberger stand. He is, of course, the president for Saudi Arabia and Bahrain. Now, of course, this is a very important market for you. Give, bring me back a little bit and just tell me how important this market is here. How long have you guys been in Saudi Arabia? So as Slumberger, we have been here in Saudi Arabia since 1941, almost 80 years ago. We have logged the first well here in a well called Dammam number 27, which is still existing inside the Aramco premises. Since then, we have been committed to the kingdom and for Saudi Aramco in bringing the latest technology in recruiting and developing the talents of Saudi Arabia here, and also bringing all the operations as an integrated fashion. In Saudi Arabia, this is the biggest you know, geo market and Aramco is our biggest client worldwide. We have almost 20 different product lines in Saudi Arabia. The whole portfolio of Slumberger is existing here. And that gives us an opportunity to work for Saudi Aramco in an integrated fashion, giving them solutions for the challenges that they have here within the oil fields that we operate here. We operate here across the whole kingdom. Geographically, as you know, the kingdom is a huge by, by square kilometers. We have almost 1,600 drivers. We drive every day 240,000 kilometers. And then safety, therefore, is an area of focus for us here in Slumberger as much as it is for Saudi Aramco. And I'm glad to tell you that in 2019, last year, we have managed to reduce our accident rates and our injuries to the minimum since over almost 20 years. This is a milestone for us, and it is something that we are proud of. And again, we will continue doing that as we go into this year, 2020. When I talk about 2020, you know, it is something also, we'll continue our journey here. And I can tell you that the focus 2020 going forward is going to be localizing, localization of material, manufacturing products, and also continuing our efforts in recruiting local Saudis here. This is part of the Iktiva. We will remain committed for Saudi Aramco. We'll stay here till the last drop of oil in the kingdom. Now, of course, it's very important, as you say, you're a trusted partner, you've been here a long time, but a lot, and when you look at training development, and everybody's talking about the, the war for talent right now, you're actually, you know, bringing up a lot of the locals yourself, and you're training them and bringing your great international expertise. Give us a feel for how important that is to make sure that that cooperation is there, that trust is there, and you're actually, you know, educating in many ways and training, you know, the engineers and hopefully the leaders of this industry of the future in this region. So that's a very point uh, which is very important. We actually recruit every year almost 600 Saudis between locally here from local universities and local technical colleges. We are actually very much engaged with Saudi Aramco and getting local technical colleges, engineers and technicians like Saudi Arabia Drilling Company, like the SPSP. And soon we will start also recruiting from the leading national academy, which is the female training academy. So it is a big pool that we have around from between universities and, and technical academies. And we go and let them go through the training program of Slumberger, which it starts from the early stages of getting them. We give them the exposure in the field. We get them through the career and the, the training and development of the Slumberger. They graduate from our schools and they continue their career and their journey through the ladder within Slumberger. In Slumberger, I can tell you we have senior management of so local Saudis. Some of them are here, some of them are outside. We also focus on the outside world. We have a recruiter specifically to recruit Saudis from U.S. universities, including females. And I'm glad to tell you we recruit every year like 40 uh, females and males graduates. We train them outside and then we bring them here back to Saudi Arabia. Now, of course, when you're looking at diversifying your um, you know, your talent pool and all of that, well, it really comes down to technology. And we look at what Slubberger does in terms of, you know, digitalization and all of that. This is making it a lot easier. Bring more people into the industry really as well, isn't it? Um, it's not all about doing everything out on the field. In fact, it's, it's quite extraordinary what you can do now because of digitalization. Give me a feel for like how important that has been for Slubberger and for the industry. Definitely the digital world is getting into our industry again and we're investing a lot in digital. Uh, I can tell you that we're looking at Delphi, which is the platform of the software and being integrated under one platform, the digital. That will also integrate some other operational aspects when it comes to digital, like the drill plan and the drill plots, the drill ops, which is part of the Delphi. 
that will help us from the digital side improve our efficiency in the operations, specifically in drilling. And there are other aspects that we're looking at from the digitalization. Obviously, it is a field that we will continue investing in, and this is the way forward as we see in Slumberjay. Now, talk to me about being here at IPTC. This is the first time ever in Saudi Arabia, and they've launched it, you know, with a, a magnificent show, a great conference, a lot of key leaders, ministers, and CEOs here, and also just a magnificent exhibition. I have had a hard time trying to get hold of you. You've been so busy here all days, which is a really good sign, I have to say. But how important is it that it's here in Saudi? And well done to them that they're going to hold on to it. They're, they're determined to do that. Actually, you know, when, when Saudi Aramco embarks on something, uh, you know, they put all the efforts uh, internally and externally from the service companies. And as, as Tambojay, we have been an integral part. Uh, we're being there with them since the beginning on the committees and the preparation of this IPTC conference. And I have to tell you, there have been lots of crews and members working day and night for the last year, 27 almost a day. And I have to tell you that I'm impressed with the number of attendees that has been attending. Uh, from a Slumberjay side, I can tell you we, we brought over 100 technical experts from outside, contributing in panels, in technical presentations, in posters. And from here, you can see that our booth and the rest of our booth was also very busy. So I think it's a, obviously a success. And that's why we're going to do it again here. Saudi Aramco is going to do it in 2022.